Hello everyone, welcome back to Excel VBA programming course. I am your trainer Kazi and this is Excel 10 tutorial. In this lesson, I want to talk about macro security. So why do we need macro security in the first place? While macros have access to parts of our Windows computer like the file system, they need this access in order to be able to perform certain functionalities. For example, VBA can be used to open an Excel file. In order to open an Excel file, you will need to be able to find it in our file system. So these permissions are good thing for us developers but they have been exploited by hackers in the past. In fact, virus have been packaged directly with Excel macro files and they are particularly dangerous because the user does not need to run a macro for this virus to be spread. A macro can automatically start running in the background when a workbook opens which makes it a really dangerous way to distribute a virus especially across multiple file systems. So to solve this problem, Microsoft introduced several security features where back in Excel 2007. Most importantly, whenever the user opens a workbook that has macros, they are going to be prompt with a YOLO notification bar. By default, that bar says, hey, this workbook has macros. Do you want to enable them? It's going to prohibit any of them from running. So the user kind of has this wall where they have to confirm that they trust the workbook that it came from a trusted source in order to permit the macros to run. So right here on my desktop, I have a file. I have a macro in it. The macro doesn't really do anything important. It doesn't really matter at all what it does. As long as there is a VBA code in the workbook, we are going to see this YOLO notification bar. Let's open this file. That's it. There you go. You see, here is the YOLO bar that says security warning. Macros have been disabled. So macros cannot run. Only when we click enable content, all of the macros is going to be enabled. Only then the macros can be run. So where is this security option actually configured? Well, if you go to the developer tab and click on the macro security, we're going to get this trust center dialog box pop up. And under here, the macro settings, is where that setting is actually configured. We have four total options available here. The standard default one is disable all macros with notification. And that's exactly what we are saying. All macros are disabled but the user is notified. And once the user gives permission by clicking enable content, then the macros are enabled. The option above is that disable all macros without notification. Obviously, this option is not going to work for us in this course because then we won't be able to execute our macro. So this is no good for us. The third option here, disable all macros except digitally signed macros. Now this feature is more designed for advanced people or developers who rather like to sell their codes, who like to packages or VBA code in something like a plugin or add-on to add additional functionality to Excel. What they can do is register an account with Microsoft and provide essentially a token of authenticity that whenever you open their plugin or their program, the Microsoft confirms that the code has not been tampered with, it's authentic, that the developer is valid and can verify it through this digital signature. Now this is a long process for us. We just want to start coding and we don't want to register with Microsoft Excel. We don't want to start selling our code to other people. So this option is a little bit more complex for us and we don't need it as well. Finally, the fourth option here, enable all macros and you can take a look at here in the parentheses, not recommended potentially dangerous code can run. So this is very dangerous because as I mentioned, if a macro includes some kind of malicious content, it can run automatically and in fact our file system can be destroyed by this so this default option disable all macros with notification we are going to be using this throughout the course there is just one problem it's just very very annoying this means whenever you open a workbook for example something that you downloaded from me as a part of the course file or even your own workbook you are always going to be greeted with this yolo notification bar and it can get pretty annoying you can always click enable content and move on but let's face it it's annoying so what we are going to be looking for here is an option that maintains the security settings such as if you want to get some kind of brand new workbook that we are not unfamiliar with we are going to prevent all the macros from running but we also want to ensure that we don't see this security notification bar for one of our own files when we write our own code we are obviously not going to put anything malicious on our computer so we can say that we want to trust our own file how can we do that the way we do that is with a feature called trusted location it's available right here second tab here in the trust center click it here now, trusted location is essentially a folder or directory on your computer that level as safe. So Excel macro files or macro workbook that we put in these location will be trusted. When Excel opens them, 
it's not going to give us this security warning and that's a good thing because whenever we have a file in any other folder we're still going to get the security warning for example our downloads folder where we download other people's file can always give us this reminder but any folder that we put here we can put all of our macro workbook files in here and that way we can avoid this warning and reduce all of that redundant clicking so how can we set this up to do that we have to click this option here add new location and then click on the browse just find out the location you want to mark as trusted i have a folder in desktop which is Excel 10 tutorial and I want this folder to be trusted by Microsoft. If I click OK. You can see the file path here and there is one more thing I want to check in this box which is subfolder of this location are also trusted. This one. What it means is that whenever we have folders or directories within this folder any files within there will also be considered trusted if we don't check this box that only means excel files at the top level within the actual folder are going to be the ones that are trusted and we are going to ignore any of the files that are nested within other folder we want to make sure that everything is covered no matter how many layers deep we go and this option will ensure that happens for us okay now let's click okay you can see that the file pad has appeared here with the date so any excel file that we have in there is going to be considered trusted click okay and check what happened this is the file that and this is the trusted location so if i check any file that is not in our trusted location let's see what happened see the security warning is here and now if we move the same folder in the trusted location let's see what happens that's it the security notification is gone and the macros are automatically enabled and we can now run them we don't have to go through the hassle of clicking that enable content button that's all there is to cover in this lesson we talked about how macros can potentially be used to deliver malicious virus to our computer we talked about the security configuration that are available in excel by default excel will offer us a notification that says hey this workbook has macros do you want to enable them we saw that it was pretty helpful for files that we are unfamiliar with but it's going to to be a big hassle throughout the course whenever we are opening our own files so in order to find the best option between security and comfort we set up a trusted location on our computer each time we open the file in that folder microsoft will assume that it's a safe and trusted file and it doesn't have anything bad for us now if you missed any lesson of this excel vba programming course check the playlist on the screen subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos if you can support the channel on patreon have any question leave a comment that's all there is to cover in this lesson in the next lesson we'll be learning the macro recorder see you in there thank you